You all have spoken in the comments, so I've listened. Weeknight hacks, simple weeknight meals. Uh, so this one is a fun one. Uh, let's call it chicken sun-dried tomato rigatoni. How's that sound, CJ? It sounds delicious and incredibly simple. I did get in the request. Simple, crazy, delicious, little yellow, wrong show. Let me show you guys how to make this very simple pasta dish. I've got my Blackstone set to medium. I'm gonna start with my bacon. Uh, we want bacon for later, but we also want the bacon fat. So, I mean, I don't have to show you guys how to cook bacon. Blackstone's just a bacon cooking beast. So once it's where you like it, I like it about a seven an eight on the one to 10 scale. Uh, pull that over to the cooler side of the grill. Now what we have is what we were really after, the bacon fat. Uh, today I'm using boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I'm gonna season them both with Tutto Italiano and our Parmesan ranch, pretty generously. Uh, toss them around, make sure all the little nooks and crannies get seasoned. You can do chicken breasts or cutlets if you want. I just find the fat has a lot more flavor uh, in the chicken thigh. So let's go ahead and cook that in that glorious bacon fat. Now this is gonna take a minute, uh, but you don't wanna go too high because your crust will get too burnt before your inside gets cooked, you know what I'm saying? Medium, medium low at this point. Uh, keep tossing it back and forth until it is fully, fully cooked. While that's finishing up, let's get to our sauce. Now this is very, very simple. I'm starting with some sun-dried tomato spread. Now this is really, really great. You'll see in just a second because when we add the heavy cream and the pureed garlic, mixing it together, we almost get the perfect consistency of like an Alfredo style sauce, but it was just three, three ingredients, no cook. Mix all that together and keep it on the side until we're ready for it later. Uh, let's talk about some of our garnish some of our vegetables. Uh, I've got some little grape tomatoes. You can use any tomatoes that you like. Uh, I'm just gonna cut them in half because I like the appearance. Uh, we're not gonna cook these too long, so do not add them yet. I've also gotten on the vine tomato. Let's cut those into bigger pieces. Having different shapes of tomatoes just makes it a more interesting look when we're finished. Sun-dried tomato and chicken love lemon, so make sure you add a bit of lemon juice. Not yet, but we are gonna slice and get ready for later. I've also got some Italian parsley. I wanna chop that up nice and small because we're gonna add it, uh, kind of mix it in so we want those little flecks of green to be everywhere. Uh, you know, while we're at it, let's go ahead and grab our bacon uh, and chop that up. Don't go too small on this. We don't want bacon bits. What are those called, CJ? Bake, bacos? Ba bacon, something? Yeah, yeah. We, don't, we don't want those. We don't want those. We want nice, beautiful chunks. Once your chicken is fully cooked, go ahead and bring it off the griddle and we're gonna cut it up. And don't go too tiny with this, right? We're not making chicken salad here, but also don't go too large. We basically want bite size. I suppose it depends on the person with the bite, but about like this, about like just, here's what you want. That gorgeous crust, that beautiful crust, and that perfectly cooked juicy, juicy chicken. Um, I, I do wanna clean off my griddle because we have to do the pasta next. Uh, this is how you would clean your griddle after a cook. I'm just doing it in the middle because I want to keep going and I don't want any of this burnt seasoning on there. Uh, a little bit of water, scrape it off and you're good to go. Now I'm going to go back with a bit of water because I don't want my noodles to stick. I don't want to add oil because it's going to break my sauce apart. So a little bit of water and then the noodles. Then we can go with everything on our cutting board, right? Just put it all in there. We're starting to make a glorious, beautiful pile of food here. Don't forget your lemon, that beautiful juice, the acidity, it's gonna lift everything up, giving us a very bright, wonderful flavor with the chicken. Uh, speaking of kind of like briny, bright flavor, I've got some capers. Throw the juice in there with it. Capers and the brine. Uh, it's gonna also add to the acidity, the alkalinity of our dish. Now add that gorgeous sauce over the top and toss. I mean, you start to see it come together, like all those beautiful colors. I mean, you saw it on the cutting board, but now that it's mixed into the noodles and it starts to get glossy with that stunning sauce. Oh, don't, I almost forgot cheese. Don't forget your cheese. You can use any cheese that you like, but today I'm using a blend. I've got Asiago Fontina Parmesan Provolone, the Italian blend, uh, and mix that up and we're good to go. I would say give that another two minutes or so on the griddle just to make sure the cheese gets melty uh, and then it's time to plate. No muss, no fuss here. Uh, add it all into a big bowl. We're going family style here. A uh, little nod to Blackstone Betty there. So when it's fall, uh, you want family around, but you want to do dishes that are simple, that you can feed a lot of people, that doesn't take a lot of time or a lot of ingredients. I don't know, is it a lot of ingredients, Ethan? Uh, it wasn't too many, it was but it's gorgeous. I mean, this is what you're left with. I don't know if I mentioned it, but you can also you know, add a little bit more parsley and cheese as a garnish. Oh, beauty, beauty. I didn't get the tomato I wanted, but I got the chicken and the noodle. Sun-dried tomato paste. That's a sneaky one. What does Rick Blaine call his car? A sleeper? A sleeper. 
you don't realize how delicious it truly is. You get the saltiness from the bacon as well. And then those tomatoes, good Lord. So we didn't cook them mm, very long at all. So they'll hold their texture together. If you go longer, those fresh tomatoes kind of turn into more of a sauce. You can do that. It's not what I wanted, not what I wanted. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out. This is a fun one. Uh, so for those of you that left comments wanting some more simple weeknight meals, there you go. Uh, we should have like a whole show dedicated to that, CJ. Like we should have an entire show dedicated to like easy weeknight meals. That would be great. Um, I don't know, that's all I got. Uh, make, make pasta on your griddle. You can do it. You can do it. Wrong show. There we go. Hey. All right. <laughs> well, thank you guys for hanging out. This is Cook, Eat, Repeat, where we like to help you become a better cook one recipe at a time. I'm your host, Chef Nathan Lippy. Your host? Your host, Chef Nathan Lippy. Have a great day. I just got completely lost. It's not that good. Noodles are that good. See you guys.